Good morning, everybody. Hello, Bobby. Good morning, Bobby. Or afternoon, evening, depending on where you are. <laughs> <laughs> In Italy. Week. Yes, thank you. 9 a.m. Monday mornings. <laughs> waiting for my coffee. So we'll give it a few minutes for people to come on in. I'll share my screen with the agenda. Okay, so is everybody seeing the agenda for today? Or no, we're seeing the calendar of public meetings. That's better. So hopefully a few more people will come in. If not, this is a good group to start working on. Um, I will talk in a few minutes about what uh, today is about. How are you, Arunima? How are things? Hey, Bobby, I'm great. Good, good. Um, just curious, do you have any information on what's going on with the onboarding task force? Because again, I haven't talked to John or heard from him, and I'm not yeah, sure. So, yeah, I have been constantly in contact with Akanksha. So um, she has not given me any update if, about if she has like been able to contact with the mentors or not. So I have not got any contact. Maybe if she joins today's meet, we can ask her. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. And, and again, to get her started, I'll, I'll give her tasks for the onboarding section of our group, um, and then they can put them down on her mentorship list. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Which, let me see. Yeah, I have to update this week for you, which I'll do after our meeting. Um, just so that um, when it comes time for your review, I just usually take the list of those things and make it into some kind of narrative and paragraph for the uh, mentorship group to review. Um, so that's pretty much easy. Um, it's already three after, so I'm just gonna start the meeting. Um, I guess this meeting is being recorded automatically, which is nice. Um, I used to have to set the recording and half the times I would forget. So it's very nice it's being recorded. Um, this is a Linux Foundation sponsored meeting, so the uh, antitrust policy and the code of conduct link are on your screen. If anybody um, doesn't know how to act properly, please just refer to uh, this paragraph and the code of conduct. And again, everybody is welcome on this call. We encourage everybody, especially on this task force, uh, to come and get involved. Uh, we have a lot of exciting things going on this summer. I'm working on some um, other ones that might um, even get us more exposure to uh, new markets and new places and, and, and things that people aren't aware of. So that's exciting. Um, so again, today I'm just gonna recap uh, what we're gonna try to accomplish today so that when you're introducing yourself, if you have any thoughts or ideas about where you wanna be on that, that would be great. So today um, the technical steering Technical Oversight Committee meeting was is every Thursday, and this Thursday they, um, I guess, in my opinion, ran out of topics. So they asked, um, you know, if we were ready, and I was like, no, we're not. Um, but I told them, basically, gave them an idea of what we're going to do. So our next deliverable is the presentation for the TOC. And the goal of that presentation, and it's in like, it won't be this Thursday, but I'm hoping it'll be the following Thursday. Um, nobody wants to do anything in the, on the, uh, that soon. So we'll have plenty of time. And so there'll be no stress. But what we want to do for that presentation is, so the task force has been meeting and reporting back to the TOC for a long time now on what we're trying to do. And, and again, this documentation is a beast trying to figure out how to put a lasso around this whole thing for the community and tighten it up is our job. And it is, uh, there's so many different facets. That's why I'm so glad there's so many different eyes on it because it, it can only get better with the more people working on it. So what our goal is, and again, it's always the same, let me get to our buckets. Um, these five ideas um, and what we're trying to do for the, um, presentation to the technical oversight committee 
is end the task force reporting to them all summer long. So instead of every two weeks, they're saying, how's the task force onboarding? Because I'm in charge of onboarding the task force, not the mentorship program, but the task force. And how's documentation going? And I, and I give them like a cursory update and, you know, it's, it's not very exciting and it's not very productive. So what um, I'm going to do is in two weeks when we do present to the TOC, I'm gonna kind of take a sabbatical from presenting to the TOC so we can just get to work. Um, and basically what we have to have done in that week and a half before we present, let me see what date that would be. Um, get it up there real quick. So I would think it would be July 6th. So let's just put that on here real quick. My computer is is beyond. Well, whenever my computer decides, oh, there it goes. Um, um, that'll help us. So July 6th, we're going to present, I'm not presenting, you guys are going to do the presenting, presenting, but there's going to be five basic topics that we're going to cover. Um, and it is the GitHub, um, the, like I said, what we just showed you before, the GitHub, the uh, templates, the user guides, the onboarding, and the other task force. Um, so we will report or somebody from each, hopefully everybody will get a chance to talk at the TOC, have something to say um, to a slide. Um, and again, Arunima will be um, and, and kind of arranging that slide show and keeping all the slides in order and kind of arranging it so everybody's point flows nicely. Um, so if there's any questions about the specific presentation and the PowerPoint, please uh, direct them right to her because she's going to be the one um, with her hands on that. So uh, if you're interested in the presentation, again, we're going to do the five different topics. We're going to tell the TOC what exactly our goals are. So for instance, with the GitHub, our goals are going to be for any new community members starting a lab, we want this um, uh, information so that they just have to copy the GitHub repository and make it their own. And then we want to give them advice on, so there's two parts to the GitHub, probably three, but I only see two right now. And then the second one would be how to make those GitHub repositories into user guides. Um, and then the same kind of thing with the templates, where are we gonna put the templates in the library? How are people gonna accept, you know, so each one of those five topics has nuances that have to be, um, you know, the goals of the summer have to be defined by that July 6th in that presentation. So again, I am here to set the meetings and get everybody um, organized and to you know, get the presentations um, lined up. I want to also do a big presentation after we do the TOC to the meetups um, and talk about documentation and, and learning experiences uh, where you guys would be running that meetup as well, but that would be open to the public and they're usually very well attended. Um, so enough about me, I'm gonna turn it over to Arunima who will, um, after everybody introduces themselves, I'm hoping take charge of how she wants everybody to report to her for the information for the slides. So it's all you now. Okay, so Bobby, I have a question. Like, uh, if I if I'm not wrong, uh, for the next presentation, what we have to do is that we have to define what each of the five subgroups are doing. What are their goals, right? Correct. Okay, and maybe we can uh, select a chair for each of the subgroups, and then that chair can do the presentation of that group, and the other members who are participating in that group can also introduce themselves and uh, share their part in that slide. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. That's what we're, you know, let's try to pin some of those things down so that the next uh, week and a half, we can actually just work on those goals um, with your committee chairs. Yeah. So uh, I think by this week, we can uh, select the committee chair so that uh, in the upcoming weeks, we have enough time to um, do the presentation properly. That, that's awesome. And I see a lot of people um, on the call have done work in certain areas already. Um, yeah. And that's great. Um, 
So um, if you'd like to um, call on people to introduce themselves, I will take notes on the wiki page. Yeah, sure. So uh, I think uh, each of them can go one by one. So uh, starting with Agnes, uh, you can go first. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, my name is Agnes. I think the update I have is I have a meeting with Stephen from uh, Aries Indy after this. So they'll probably just figure out what they need in terms of documentation. So I'll update my wiki on what what the meeting points will be. Yeah, thanks. Okay, that's great, Agnes. Uh, Agnes, are you interested in being a committee chair for any of the committees? If you can tell, we can note down right here, down here. Let me first see what kind of work will come from the other side and then I'll see. Oh, okay, sure. So uh, next uh, next on the list, I have Kian Luka. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Oh, no, no problem. No problem. Thank you. You can correct me so that next time I don't make a mistake. Yeah. The, <laughs> no, no problem. The the, the right uh, is Jan Jan Luca. Jan Luca. Okay. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you too. So I'm Gianluca from uh, from Italy. Uh, I'm a software engineer. Uh, I'm interested in uh, two uh, subtopic. Uh, one is the GitHub and the other one uh, is a template. Uh, I have um, experience in GitHub uh, because I'm um, a software developer and also in template because I've, I've, I've written um, some papers uh, during my, my PhD. Um, also, I, I have a, a, um, I've written um, um, a document, an outline about the, the standard documentation and uh, I published in my uh, wiki page uh, where there is a list of uh, guidelines about uh, the five uh, uh, subtopics. Uh, now, now is an, an outline, but um, the idea is to uh, complete, to, to expand, extend that outline in order to have a, a sort of um, best practices uh, to write uh, documentation, if uh, uh, you are um, you are you agree, that's all. Thank you. Yeah, I saw that, and thanks for doing that. That's great work. And uh, so we are going to the next uh, person. Uh, next, we have Kajal. Kajal, can you please go ahead and introduce yourself? I'm Kajal and I would like to be a member of uh, GitHub uh, template and best practices. Uh, like I have contributed to various open source programs and I've also contributed in technical domain uh, in documentation part. So I am uh, like very well known to GitHub and what are the best practices and how the template should be of the documentation and like how can we con contribute more? And talking about the, like, we have to ask the project maintainer. So I will be joining the Cacti meet today, which is uh, 12, 30 a.m. IST. Uh, and I've also shared the meeting link to the Bevel mentee, but I guess he didn't uh, uh, see the Discord message yet. So he didn't join the meeting. I've sent him the link. Okay, Kajal, thank you so much. Uh, so you are interested in being a member, right? Not a chair. Uh, I can be chair, but I have to decide for which, uh, like for which a thing. Okay, okay. I'm sure. interested in all three. I let you know. Okay, sure. Let me know whenever you decide on that. And also, I think you're joining the calls at twelve thirty a.m. So it's a bit late night, right, for you? Uh, no, actually, I'm a late bird. I sleep okay. in the morning, so it's not morning. 
Okay. So um, I just have a question, um, a real quick question. So are you more interested in, when you're talking about the GitHub repository, the um, blank template for people who are starting projects or moving projects out of incubation to graduation? Or are you more interested in helping the folks who have GitHub repositories create readable user guides? Uh, I can do both, but I'm like more interested in the readable user guide. I've also experience in user experience. I've uh, did UI and UX course, so I can help in both things. Okay, perfect. That's what I thought. So I wanted to make sure I wrote it down correctly. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So uh, next in the list, uh, I have uh, Niku Singh. Yeah, hi everyone. Hi. Uh, so I just uh, got a bit late. I guess, can anyone update me what's going on? We are just introducing ourselves and letting everyone, and everyone is telling about what committees they are interested in being a member of or being a chair of. So that's what we are, we have been doing. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. So hi everyone, uh, I'm Nikhil Singh. I'm currently a mentor of onboarding mentor mentee task uh, project, which is under the this year's uh, Appalachian Mentorship Project. And I'm mentoring, I guess, Akansha, Akansha way along with John and uh, and uh, Peter. So that's about me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nico. And yeah, um, I just uh, again, I hate to interrupt you, but so uh, Nico, thank you for showing up. Um, I know there's been a lot of talk about what's going on with the onboarding group. Um, and we've kind of been working together. So hopefully this call will also be the call that you guys can work on and, and through us. Um, so thank you. Um, do you know anything if John's coming back this week or if it's next week? Uh, like I contacted John uh, last week. So he was, uh, uh, he was correctly deciding upon a common timing for us to have a briefing call with the mentee. And I oh, guess okay. it was scheduled for today, I guess. I don't know about that because I haven't heard from Peter and uh, nothing update from John as well. Okay. Okay. Cause I know there was just some confusion, but it, it, again, we're this call every week, you can, you know, hop on as well. Yeah, sure. Cause I know a lot of our, the mentees on this call want to also help out with the onboarding piece. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, and one more thing before I, I forget. I did talk to Min. I have to check my email again because it's pretty early here for me um, about getting this into that learning program or group so that um, you can apply for that and get uh, mentorship credit to your school or to your LinkedIn profile or whatever through the Linux Foundation. So I am working on that. So you will be uh, officially in a Linux Foundation program if you're helping out this summer. So again, thanks everybody for being here. Uh, thank you so much, Bobby, and that's great. So uh, I think we have Akanksha here also. So Akanksha, you can go ahead next, next time. If you have any doubts, you can ask right here because Niku is also here. Uh, hi. Uh, hello. Am I audible? Hello. Yes, yes, you are. Yeah. So hi, myself, Akanksha, and I am currently a mentee under... Niku sir and John sir and um, Peter sir um, currently onboarding Menti and yeah I had doubts regarding it but I talked to Niku sir and um, he sorry uh, so he cleared it out and uh, right now I'm clear that yeah uh, after once uh, once John sir confirms about the meeting we can just uh, proceed with the onboarding stuff but right now uh, I don't have any any more doubts I am clear. That's great, Akansha. I'm glad that you know you have all your doubts cleared now. So next we have Shinji Sato. Hello, Shinji. You can go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, Shinji, can you hear me?
Okay, so uh, Shinji, if you are having any problems, you can just introduce yourself in the chat or I guess I can go, or we can go ahead with uh, Tripur and Shinji wants, uh, if you want to introduce yourself and if you're facing any problem, you can just let us know in the chat and then we uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. So next we can go with Tripur. Uh, hi, Tripur. Hi. Hey, hi. Hi, everyone. Uh, hi, Bobby. Hi, Rima. So um, I'm actually working on the Sol, uh, like Solang uh, documentation right now. And I'm uh, right now uh, like overviewing their current document, which uh, they have made it from GitHub and it is on read, uh, like read the docs. And I'm making a report out of it, like which section need more uh, like input in it. And I'm also making what is missing there. And I soon will be uploading it in my wiki page also and uh, soon i will have a meeting with them too so that uh, i can show them that uh, these are the things that i think we should include in the like already presented documentation before moving further to any tutorials that uh, they have mentioned before because uh, when i reviewed their like existing document i was not able to like go anywhere and i thought that first of all we should like work on the existing one so that the people who are interested in Solang can get and something out of it. And uh, I'm also interested in becoming the chair of uh, user guide. Yeah. I do have a question. Um, so you said that, that you tried to take their current documentation and and try to use the product and you are unable to no i'm able to use the product i'm just not able to navigate where we have to go because of the existing product uh, the existing documentation does not have an overview or something like no uh, uh the any the way we have to proceed like if i go into how to install solang some things are missing so we can include mm -hmm. the things and improve the documentation that's what i'm saying with the existing one yeah, so, so once you do that, if you could just keep in mind trying to make some kind of, not template or, well, yeah, user guide for okay. other, so that you could take what you do and apply it to another project, okay. almost like as a badging thing. Like, oh, you have this, you have this, you have this, your documentation is approved. Do you think that you could... Um, Keep that in mind while you're going over the Solang doc so that we could bring it up a level and help all the projects with the work you're doing? Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, so thank you so much, Sripur. Uh, I think next we have Victoria. Victoria, you can go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello everyone, good day, good afternoon. I'm a bit below the weather, so my voice is um not quite loud. Okay, so I was to have a meeting with Nico um next last week, but it was moved till next week. So in the meantime, I'm taking courses on um on the hyperledger on edX and um getting familiarized with the Firefly um docs. Yeah, so I have a meeting with Nico um next week. So I'm interested in the user guides. Yeah, so um, Bobby mentioned um, transforming um, the GitHub to a user guide. So I'm interested in um, user guide here. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Victoria. Uh, Bobby, can you please tell me what are the next deliverables of the meet? 
Okay, so so right now it looks like that we have a lot of good uh, volunteers for the different um, groups in the presentation. So these, again, are the topics for the presentations. So we're going to start working on that. Um, so I guess it starts with um, anyone who's interested in doing a slide for this we're going to have to by next week start assigning people if they haven't already so or, uh, i'm saying the github is probably done um onboarding uh definitely we have the mentee here to do that so that's like a given um and then the user guides um these are not the github user guides these are different user guides um these user guides i think more have uh kind of like to permeate through the entire uh, community. So working with onboarding when someone clicks, um, you know, um, uh, end user uh, programmer who just wants to see if I can use this program, um, how do I get started? How do I go into the community and test out different, you know, like they need user guides for that. There's all different... And they're all they're going to be in all different places and they all need to be uniformed. Um, so that is an um, I don't really see this being a big part of the beginning of the process, because, again, we really don't know where these user guys are going to sit or live. But we want to keep a, um, an eye out for whenever you're clicking as a user in the community websites and wiki pages if you're trying to do something and you can't figure it out please make a note under anywhere under user guides or under anywhere i tried to do this and the user guides were not up to snuff or or these user guides were great let's use these as an example so again this last bucket is something that is this last bucket of user guides is going to be something that has um, its fingers in every single other bucket and every single web page and every single because we want to be able to have people use this stuff. So all of us has to keep an eye out for when you feel that, you know, that's something that needs to be done. So likewise, with the templates, we really can't move too much on the templates. Um, we can start checking them. So if somebody wants to step up um, and, and go through, um, there's a bunch of templates. And I'll put this link in the chat. Um, so under here, under our page, under templates, you can start by um, going to this best practice badge and templates, which we'll talk about best practices in a second. Uh, the templates. So these are all templates. So if you want to write a use case for Hyperledger, you're going to click on use case. And again, this was done years ago. It needs to be revised. It could go through a chat bot to see if we're missing anything. I don't know. But this is the standard for a uh, use case um, so you would copy this, you would paste it in somewhere, and then you would fill it out. Um, I think this is the, it might even not even, the link might not work anymore. This is a, uh, should be a Google Drive doc that is the template. Oh, it works. Excellent. Um, this could be rewritten. This could be updated. Um, it could have, we could put Hyperledger and the Hyperledger logo up here so that people, when they want to do a use case, just pull this down, copy it, and it's ready to go. So that's what the templates are, and they all need to be touched and looked at. And whoever steps up would be presenting to the TOC that, yes, I'm going over all of these templates for the community to make sure that they have everything a white paper, let's see where's white paper, everything a white paper needs. The people in this community don't need to be um, working on templates. They just need to copy them and write their valuable information in them. So we're trying to make that. And again, this is not user friendly. If I'm trying to do this, this is, I'd want a Google doc with a, a table of content already formatted. I mean, that just goes without saying. Um, so again, this needs to be looked at and there's all the graphic set standard from what I believe is going to get redone and on, uh, not onboarding. Yeah. 
onboarding, I guess, would be where this information would be needed to be updated. Um, so Ben Thomas is the one in, in Hyperledger that is doing this. Um, oh, they did update it. Damn, they're good. I'm impressed. It's 2023. Um, so this will talk a little bit about how to do things in the Hyperledger Foundation. Um, I haven't read this yet, so I don't know. Well, that's wrong. Yeah, no, this isn't here anymore. Anyway, um, so it gives you a little bit about each one of the projects. Um, so that's that's interesting. That's that's good to know. But again, how I found that was because I went through the learning materials development working group old archived wiki page to best practice, you know, like the community is not going to find that information. If they, I, I did it four years ago and I have trouble finding it. So obviously <laughs> those onboarding spots, some of this somewhere templates need to go, whether it's the library on the uh, main page, I don't know, but this is basically what the templates um, need to look like. So we need a template for when people have to create something. And again, the GitHub repository could be something in this template. So I'm a maintainer and I want to create a lab. How do I do that? I need a user guide and I need a template. So these are the, the, the way the, those groups work together to try to get this. So regrouping a little bit back to the presentation and what we're going to be working on in the week, I'd hope that um, the people who want to um, share these, put their names right here on this wiki page. Um, and then next week, if you have ideas for your slides, we'll sit and combine them. Um, Arunaman might, I'm not sure if you want to, but you can hand out um, or send out a template for people to work on so that they're not using different templates or they could just do a blank presentation and then you can combine them and add the template later or the, yeah, the background okay. later, however you want to do that. Um, but I think that we should have, okay, so that was GitHub. We know there's two sections. One section is templates for people moving projects through the life cycle, whether it's a lab to incubation, incubation to graduated um, and also, I firmly believe that graduated projects need to keep up on their documentation. Every time there's a version change, documentation should change. Um, so that's something that um, also needs to be worked in there. And then the second part of the GitHub repository, again, is taking those GitHub templated repositories and making them cohesive user docs for the community with choices. Um, so again, that has to be templated and user guides need to be created around those as well. Um, and the best practices, whoever steps up for this has to go to the, see if I can do this pretty quickly. The GitHub pages where the best practices task force just came up with, Let's see if I can find it. Definitely not it. All right, I'll find it later. But anyway, there, I'll put a link in. There's a best practice repository where they just came up with what they feel documentation best practices are. Um, and so what we need to do is need to incorporate those into our templated user guides and our user guides so that um, we can have uh, everybody on the same page. Why can't I find the best practices and eventually take those um, best practices that uh, people apply to a badging system. And I don't know, I, I found, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, um, the learning token uh, mentorship program presentation from last week. I thought that that was fabulous. And I'm hoping in some way we can incorporate the learning token 
um, into what we do with the user guides, make it almost like a gamified, competitive, read all our user guides kind of thing, and also get um, the best practices badging going, maybe with some kind of token program like that. So your project would earn a learning token if it met all of the best practices requirement. And then when you go to your wiki page, there'll be a little badge that says best practices earned with a check. Um, so that's um, hopefully where we'll get with that. Um, it would be very nice if that's something that eventually we can incorporate, um, especially since we know that the learning tokens um, or something that really is um, active in the community and, and, and somewhere where uh, a lot of potential is. So uh, to go back, so these are the um, sections. Arudiman, I'm going to ask you now to just talk about what you want from all of us um, by next week. Um, including me, I will fill in for whatever section looks empty um, and do the work for that. So how would you like to proceed to create a presentation? Uh, do you want to just pick the committee chairs, whatever? So jump um, in. Bobby, just to confirm, like how many slides are we supposed to prepare? As many as we need, as few as we need. The TOC, they are always interested in learning more about what's going on in the community. Um, if it is a well-written, well-organized presentation, as many as you need. Okay, so maybe uh, we can just have an introduction slide and then we can go with, go and have five slides each uh, slide. We can have uh, one of the um, subgroups, like one slide for GitHub, one for templates and one for best practices, one for onboarding and one for the user guides. And each of the chairs can go ahead and make uh, those slides, uh, which uh, which I will finally uh, mer uh, merge and then make the final presentation. I think that will work. Okay. So do you want to assign people to um, the... Bobby, can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. Do you want to put names here so that people can start working on what they feel the content should be in these? Yeah, I think, uh, I, I think you know, first of all, like, okay, Gyan, uh, Gyan again, I'm so sorry for pronouncing it wrong. Gyan Luka. Uh, Gyan Luka, yeah, so can you, uh, like, he has raised his hand, so maybe you can say what you want to say. Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry, uh, because uh, I think I lost uh, the, the date about the, the presentation of uh, um, next meeting is the next week is uh, it's I July 6th. Yeah, July 6th. Okay. And also, uh, um, I'm I can find the I can find the the link on on the public uh, calendar uh, of meeting which is the, if you have um, the link of the meeting or if, where uh, can I find the, the, um, uh, the meeting on calendar? Yeah, yeah, the, I'm just sending it in the chat. You can find all the notes right here. Okay, and, thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you. Okay, so uh, coming back to the presentation, uh, but now I think, you know, Every, uh, we can just make a table and it, it can have three columns, one for the name of the subgroup, one uh, for the chair, another for the members. So if anyone is interested in being a chair of any of the committees, they can you know put up their names in the table. And if anyone is uh, interested in being a member and not a chair, so they can put up their names there. Yeah. So, sorry, sorry, can you repeat? I'm just telling that maybe now we can make a, um, a table and if anyone is interested in, um, in uh, volunteering as a chair for any of the committees like for GitHub or for, uh, for uh, the templates on boarding and they can put up their names uh, 
here and uh, then uh, I can assign the task. Okay, in that case, uh, I, I'm interested in GitHub and templates. So I will put uh, this information into the table, right? Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, so, oh, sorry, I jumped real quick. Um, I just wanted to get this link. Um, okay, so so Arun is gonna do the overall presentation and there's two sections in GitHub. One is talking about getting the template ready for when people want to introduce a project or move a project through. And John Luca is going to handle that. Um, did we have somebody who said they were doing the read the docs? Uh, Tapur, would you mind um, jumping in um, for that section and just saying, you know, I'm working with, you can talk specifically about Solang and saying, this is what, you know, we're going to do Solang first as our test case. And then we're going to try to, you know, uh, bring it through the rest of the community. Would you mind sharing that? No, no the that, uh, that will be great. Yeah, I can do that. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. And then I'm not even going to ask on onboarding. <laughs> I'm just going to assign. And I have another que another question. Of course. About the presentation, um, please. Um, could you send us uh, some uh, indication, I don't know, or info about uh, what kind of uh, presentation? Yeah, I will, I will send you a template within two to three days. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I understand, okay, yeah. thank you. Uh, whoever will be volunteering for the presentation, I will send all of you a template either through LinkedIn or through mail. I have uh, the details, I will send you all, okay. Perfect, thank you. Yeah. Hey, Bobby, uh, excuse me. I had a question. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, like, uh, could you just brief me about what uh, the project is under the onboarding task force? Because uh, I haven't had a call with John since long. And what I know about is that it's going to be the extension of my project, which I was working on last year. Like, it, I was working under Arun and uh, Kamlesh and Vikram. So, it's going to be like making the process much more easier for the new contributors. So just wanted to have an idea about what that project is going to be. Like, how should I move forward with it? Okay, well, let me give you a little background. So I am the chair of the onboarding task force for the TOC. And what we were trying to do was try to figure out how to, and this is how I sum it up. This is just me. Um, there's five, six places that people can enter the Hyperledger community. There are four types of people entering. Our goal is to make sure those four personas get where they need to be within two clicks on all of those six locations they could possibly come in on. So the personas were defined by Ben, and I will send you a link to the PowerPoint he sent me. I think it's linked in our in the documentation, or it might even be here. Um, Yep, there it is. Uh, these are the four personas that the Hyperledger uh, staff has said they've analyzed and who come into our community. So there's, again, the six spots they come in. Do we have the six spots? Yes, right here. So they can come in on the Discord, the GitHub, the website, the Wiki page, and there was another spot. Um, I'll figure out where it is. So those places that they come in, we want that experience again to have, that's why we're working closely with the onboarding mentee is we want the user guides to be there. We want, um, so the onboarding task force is figuring out where those clicks and those people are coming in and how to get them where they need to go. 
And the documentation task force is supplying that so that when they get to where they need to go, user guides are there to get them moving in the community, if that makes sense. Yeah, sure. I got the idea. So we, I was keeping this. Um, oh, here's the, por the personas. Let's see if we can get them. So I was just keeping this because I was reporting again to the task force um, with the documentation task force. I was reporting to the TOC. Um, but again, we combined the meetings. So our meetings and your meetings can be the same. You can take the second half hour of this meeting. Um, the groups are all working. Again, everything onboarding and documentation are kind of hand in hand because every time you hit the community, you're going to need to understand what you have to do there. And that's where, you know, our partnership comes in. So these would be the personas that need to um, get directed once they get onboarded. Um, so this is where I was keeping the task force information, but you have a lot of people who want to help with onboarding, not just um, Akashani, who is your mentee. So for her, you have to keep a separate page under the mentorship program of her tasks. And that's just this week, boom, boom, boom. Next week, boom, boom, boom. Um, And I don't, yeah. It's not a repository. Where is it? Anyway, I can send you the link um, later where you keep your, um, the business of the mentee um, information. Um, so that will be um, something I can send you a link for. I'm not sure why I can't find it right now. Um, it should be right on my list, but it's not. So um, you would just keep their tasks um, on that one page. Um, and other than that, you can work any way you want. You don't need to use the um, this onboarding task force. You can use whatever. But for the presentation to the TOC, I've been um, reporting to them on the two task forces for a while. And I kind of want to take the summer off so we can actually work on them. Um, so we're Presenting to the TOC on July 6th, both of us, if we want um, to do it together, that's fine too, because we do have an onboarding piece, which Akansha is going to do, like speak to, um, about how we don't want to report for the summer. We just want to work for the summer, and then we're going to do a, a big presentation at the end of the summer. Um, that's basically what that is for the 7th, is just telling the TOC our goals for the summer that we're going to be working every week, every Monday, we start to regroup, do it, do a stand up and say what everybody's working on. And then we spend the week working on it. Um, did that help you answer your question? Yeah, yeah, it was pretty clear. Thanks okay. for that. And also just to clarify. So what I have understood is that uh, like we need to verify, we need to document, right? The entry points and how a new user gets to contribute to the, like makes his first contribution. So we need to simplify that process, right? Yes. Okay. And you would so have to reach out to Ben, who is working on the website, because he has all the new branding and all the new information. Yeah, just, I was about to ask that, that could you just send me his contact, maybe email or maybe Discord ID, anything else? I will, I'm gonna make myself a note to email you some information after this, and that will definitely be one of them. Okay. No and problem. it's just going to be like the documentation part or it's something like going to be their development part because last year I was developing the website as well. Um, that is completely up to Ben. I'm hoping that you have a lot of input into the website. Um, but again, that's controlled by the Hyperledger staff, not the community. So we have to work with the staff on that. Yes, sure. But the uh, wiki page... Um, and I believe the Discord and the uh, LinkedIn are all whatever your recommendations are for those, for those uh, updated for onboarding the personas would definitely, you know, be where we go with and run with. Um, the website is the only thing that I don't really have any control over. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for that. 
Okay, so now we only have left templates and user guides. Does anybody, did we have anybody say user guides? I think Victoria and uh, Agnes were also interested in, in leading some of the clubs. So maybe they can sign Bobby, up for that. I can do yes. that. Okay, sure. Which one? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, Kjal. Bobby, I want to lead the templates. Okay, perfect. Uh, sorry for interrupting, uh, Bobby. Can I just ask some question? Of course. Yeah. So, like, as you explained to uh, Niku about the project, so um, I also got a gist of what exactly uh, the on onboarding project is. And as much as I have read your, uh, that you have created a documentary on, on that onboarding, I have read their sheet. So I just got the idea. But what I was like uh, thinking, like the way you have just formulated our documentation project, like there are people working on it. So can we do the same for onboarding? Because I remember John sir had created a sheet where people with interest in onboarding had put, put down their names. So if we like create a team for onboarding also, then it would be like easier for us and even Niku and uh, John sir. So we can proceed with the onboarding stuff. That would be great. Do you want me to put it on this wiki page or do you want me to put it on the onboarding wiki page? Uh, it would be great like if we put that on, uh, you know, onboarding page only because then there will be separate database for both of them because both are different projects. Yep. Okay. Let me just do that right now. And we'll go through the, so you want it geared uh, more towards the six spots you come in or the four personas? Um, right now, I think I got about, uh, got more about the four personas you just explained. So okay. I'd like to proceed. Rest, uh, like I can, uh, work under Neku, uh, who can, you know, just guide me how to proceed with the work because she's my mentor. Mm -hmm. Well, no, this whole information will be there for you. And again, um, when we get to that onboarding slide on the 7th, if you want to say, you know, that that's what we're going to do in coordination with the documentation task force. But after the documentation task force, I'm going to present on the four personas. You can do that as well. And then after we do our last slide, you can come back and say, now the onboarding task force is taking this summer and we're doing this. So let's get you a table developer enterprise academic and media I forgot the fourth one. Enterprise. So do you want to um, assign people or do you want volunteers? Do you have anybody in mind? Um, uh, yeah. So the thing is, uh, when we were in a call with John, sir, he had written down names and contact emails of the people who are interested in. And I think so that is in somewhere. And I have like read that sheet 
but i need to find the link of it so there from there i can just approach these people once if they're interested i am not sure if they're in call right now so okay that- oh, no worries. we have we have all week to figure it out and then we're going to yeah. regroup each time next week um to yeah. go over what we have yeah so there was one more page of onboarding there john sir had made that table and there were a lot of people who were interested in if arunama also remember that uh, she has also put in their name so there like john sir had classified people like who are interested in content or web web development or design or like that and they had also put in the emails so maybe from next call if john sir is there and then niku and john sir like they can together you know assign help me out and we can um uh, uh, assign and if any volunteer anyone is interested right now they can also give their name rest we can sort it out with that table yeah so i think uh, as of now uh, everyone has got some task and i think victoria is uh, left out so victoria would you like to uh, take up any of the any of the parts in the presentation in the onboarding part am i audible yeah i know that she wasn't feeling well and probably is off mic um oh okay okay so we'll just like get in touch with her during the week she, i'm sure she's on the call and, and she knows how to put her name in if she wants um yeah, i'll just sure. put these two links in the chat because i don't think they're they're easily found um yes please so there's the onboarding and again Someone has like putting some message that's the onboarding and here's the documentation and get nico what i did was i had the uh, um the folks who are interested put um their names on their own pages for their work um and they the onboarding task force um we're so like married that a lot of the names for the people that you're going to be using for your uh projects are in here too because i know malcolm was really very interested in um the user interfaces and stuff and he's not on the call today so um again uh encourage uh the folks to you know use these pages because they are their own pages Yeah, sure. Um okay, we're almost at the hour. Does anybody have any questions for me or for Arunima or for Nico or for Akasha? Um Bobby, I, I have a question. Back. Okay, go ahead. Just give me a minute. Okay. Uh so I think uh we have uh, uh as of now five columns. One is GitHub templates, GitHub read the docs. templates onboarding and user guides and what about like the other two parts that were there like the best practices, practices. and the presentations yeah. i forgot best practices sorry oh, <laughs> i was looking at it i'm like wait a minute there is one missing okay and i put one in the chat and i have to go to that meeting that i put in the chat so i don't know how are you i didn't see you sneak in okay <laughs> sorry how It's are you the, yeah, almost 7 a.m. my time um fine thank you um so i'm going to go over and start that meeting and if anybody would like to help me on board whoever shows up i would appreciate it what is the topic of the meeting oh so we're doing a, a, a payer plan so uh how to get your healthcare paid for by um using this app and uh using tokens for your the work that you've done and uh I've done the front end and Jim Mason said that I was we were we were going to um I was going to um show it at a at a meet up presented at a meet up on uh the 30th but I haven't heard back from him and I don't see it scheduled so I think he flaked on that so I think we're not going to but we're still trying to prepare for that anyway And, and you so can do using- the meet up yourself uh you can do the meet up yourself just contact David Boswell Oh well it's a little late because the 30th is coming up too fast. I thought yeah. I was going to get some support with that, but okay, so I'll just let everybody know if we, if you still want to do it, we we can do that ourselves. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good meeting. Thank you.
So any other questions? I'm trying to move this so I can put things in the chat. Hold on. Well, that's not the one I want. I want this one. Okay. So I put both of those links. And again, these are our group pages. Um, there are other, um, you know, pages for the mentor for us to keep our work with the mentorship. Um, but that's not a community page. This is a community page. Please uh, use your uh, wiki pages to keep your work so you know where it is. And so, you know, we can see what's going on. We will meet next week to go over what we have so far for the presentation, uh, where we're defining what we're doing for these, these groups. Uh, one more question I had, uh, Bobby. Go ahead. Yeah, so like uh, the way we are, I am like documenting my stuff in the documentation project for that, like, but, but for the onboarding one, since I am a selected mentee, then I also need to maintain a page for that too, right? No, actually, your mentor needs to maintain that page. Um, okay, okay. And it just basically is just what is expected of you to do um, so that at, when it comes time to do your review, okay. we can just go to those pages and say, we've had them do this. Okay, okay. So like- Yeah, no, no, are... your, work is all, your work is all in the community. Okay, okay. So basically- okay? Yeah, yeah, I got it. So basically, my mentor, like Niku or uh, John, sir, will share the uh, as a task or whatever is required, right? And I yes, and again, I will help John and Nico figure, you know, what that looks like um, oh. as soon as um, I get in touch with him. I think he is on vacation for two weeks, but he should be getting back soon. So we will get on uh, on top I of that. I got a mail from him, but it has been a week already. I got that mail, so he responded. Uh, so he said like he was on a vacation, but like it's been a week already. So I think so. He'll, I, I will he try can. to reach out to him and find out um, yeah. the schedule and we will have something for you by next week. Definitely. Sure. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else have any more questions? Again, I'm always reachable by email or LinkedIn. Um, have a great day. Thank you, you Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye.